Welcome back to Cooking with the Vagabond Epicurean, a minimalist gourmet. Today we're going to make a nice dish that you can make ahead. You say you've got a busy day planned, you're going out to the beach, you're swimming, and when you come home you don't want to cook. Well, we're going to do a chilled uh, oriental shrimp salad, and here's all we're going to need and how we put it together. So we start with a half a pound of shrimp. Uh, we're going to use a little bit of uh, sesame oil to saute the shrimp and a little bit of olive oil. And then we've got, I've already shredded and parboiled a cup of cabbage and carrots. And see we cut that nice and shredded. And then we have some pea pods, the same thing. I parboiled them or kind of blanched them first and then um, bean sprouts and if you can find this fresh bean sprouts that would be better and again just par uh, boil them or blanch them and then I've already cooked off a cup of uh, rice noodles and we're gonna let that get cold and for our sauce I've got a half a cup of um, chicken broth here and to that we'll add a couple drops of sesame oil, some soy sauce, a little bit of ginger, and duck sauce. Now you could use fish sauce if you wanted. I wanted this to be a little bit more on the sweet side so I'm using the duck sauce. Now let's put this together. Well let's make our sauce first. I'll set the shrimp aside in our noodles. We'll bring our bowl up here with the water in it or broth. Not much, just a couple drops for flavor. A couple tablespoons of soy sauce. That looks pretty close to me. Sprinkle of some ginger. And then our half a cup of um, duck sauce. And that's what kind of makes it thick too. We'll whisk that together. And by doing this first, it kind of lets it blend together, let the seasonings and the flavor all come together in it. So now we'll set that aside and we'll start working on our shrimp. We'll preheat the pan. Put a couple tablespoons of, or a tablespoon of uh, sesame oil in. Our olive oil. Oh, we're getting low on olive oil. Now we know the pan is hot enough when either you put your hand over it, you feel a little bit, or when you look at the oil, it's starting to ripple just a little bit. And we're starting to get a few ripples in here, so we're just about ready. Yep, there we are. I'm not stirring the shrimp a lot. This is not a saute dish per se or a uh, stir fry. So I'm kind of letting the shrimp cook about halfway through on one side, which I see it's just about there. So now we're going to stir it up a little bit and get the other side cooked. And remember, it doesn't take long for shrimp. This is not like a big uh, pot roast where you need to let it simmer for hours. Now we just blend everything together in our bowl. It doesn't matter what order you put it in. 
and we're going to let this sit in the refrigerator for at least an hour. But see all the nice color we have, the carrots, the green, the shrimp. And now you've got a beautiful meal ready for when you come home. Well, there we have it. Pretty basic dish, easy to put together, and we're all set for when we come home from whatever we're doing. And thank you for watching, and bon appetit.